Hello, my lovely Geminis. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Gemini, today will do your daily read for 24th and the 25th of December. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. How are you, everybody? Good. Let's see here. For some of you, happy holidays. For some of you, Merry Christmas. And for some of you, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. And for those of you who do not celebrate anything, have a blessed day for today and tomorrow. Let's see here, Geminis, what we have for this daily and how the energy flows around you. We'll use a Wisdom of the Oracle as advice for this daily and after that we'll do our reading. I have a few messages for the Geminis here for some of you. I see you money pick up. For many of you, you could get promotions. For, for some of you, you could get bonuses. Keep those for you. Because I feel here is a tendency of somebody gives you as a gift of something and you feel just to give to somebody right away. I will say keep it for you, loves. You deserve that. Whatever gift you get, you deserve that gift. Enjoy it. Whatever it is, I definitely see here, <clears throat> my apology, it is a situation you feel like one foot in and one foot out. I don't know what to go. I don't know what to do. It's like you have something and you don't feel like completely or 100% sure that is the thing you want to do or the right thing to go forward. Spirit says, take your time. Yes, you're an air sign and sometimes you might rush into things. Take your time. Also, I want my to give you my apologies, Gem uh, Gemini, for not completing your reading for other day. And as you always know, family is first and we need to take care of them. And yeah, thank you so much. Let's hear, loves, what we have from the wisdom of the oracle and what's the message behind wow fork in the road yeah definitely at decision making or trying to make the decisions also it is a little like what's the best I don't want to fail it, fail it or I don't want to make the bad decision out there Spirit says, look for the guidance, look for help if you really need it. Let's see here, number 13 was the message here for the Geminis, fork in the row. The essential meaning of the card, time to make a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to act, owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice and in the relationships you've reached out a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship which will you choose to open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated to go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away this is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do. Invest and give. Then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with a relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you are afraid of the intensity of genuine connection. All the roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on a path to a truer experience of the heart. Whatever you make, whatever decision you take, feel that that is deep desire deep desirable 
inside your heart. Let's see here, Gemini, what this is about. And also, let's see the energy for the daily. And what we got here, Gemini. For the lovely, lovely Gemini, what we got here. Spirit, give me some insights for the Geminis who are here, who come here, who wants guidance here. Let's see. Five of Swords. You feel here, for some of you, you feel like somebody is not at their truest energy or not honest with you. Yes. And you are right, Gemini, because I definitely see here there is something of completion or it is some type of closure. You feel here somebody could... Somebody could be there like, I do love you and they want to be with you, but actually they were not genuine towards that. And I feel here there's some sort of completion, some sort of all overdone. Let's see here what this is about. Three of Swords, another three, Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Hangman. Emperor, Nine of Swords. I definitely see here this person is quite a bit thinking what they've done. They could have a stagnant relationship with somebody or married with somebody. They are very unfulfilled. Also, I definitely see you are single here. <clears throat> Virgo energy, Aries, Sag, Pisces energy. I don't feel it's too much talking here. Because somebody tried to be a player here. Could be a very short-term relationship. And I feel here they did realize here. Gemini, you're dealing here very strongly. Could be an Aries, a Sag, a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a, a Pisces. But what I'm feeling here, I see you very much focused on money. You have to make a choice. Do you want relationships? Do you want a good relationship? Or do you want to stay single? Because I see here, your main focus right now, it is finances, is work, is growing financially. And you do know. You do know this is the right thing for you to do now. But you still, for some reason... Thinking of somebody here, somebody you are kind of stuck or been even hurt by them. I don't feel you are communicate here with this person. For somebody, you just got silence with that person because they could be in and out. They put you in a third party or use you basically because I feel here is a sense of taking advantage of your good heart or the way you treated them. They could be somebody who liked a lot of attention too. It is somebody stuck in a relationship or they feel that way. Could be you flip the energy since it's a general read. I definitely see here you've been hurt, but now you're just like, you know what? I have more to gain than just staying in that hurt. I don't feel you are very much interested. As you see this, if I'll see this nine of pentacles looking in this three of swords, I will say you still hurt. But I feel here you are getting over it and just focusing on what you truly believe will bring you that what you need that will keep you, keep going, keep going. For many of you, you decide to stay single and being successful just because you feel like you attract players third parties here because we definitely have here some player third party relationship or whatever you've been dealing in the past they brought you that and I feel here you feel like now a little isolated of the world you try to heal whatever is in the uh, in inside you I feel here you're looking for something but right now you you decided to 
keep things for yourself also to your intuition is telling you don't go whatever relationship here you you attracted is is not what you truly needed at that time and the universe is telling you take an inventory into your life what you truly desire for many of you you didn't expect for this person to do so I definitely see them thinking very closely how they treated you and they acknowledge that if you didn't allow them back here is because they've been in and out or that's how they are way of being somebody here have been very much like my way or no way but it's like the way they want it always and probably another relationship worked but with you Gemini it didn't work that way of doing things and I feel here now they realizing that you have other things coming towards you you have better things to do just stay stuck with somebody here somebody here you could deal here Gemini with a father figure could be even your father that's how they've been and they always trying to be on top of everything like somebody who tells you how to do and I feel here now is now working for them that thing with you for some of you you might deal with somebody who is married you could be the one who is married but I feel here is a very much a father figure here who taught you so many other things here also who taught you what you want in your life and who taught you what you don't want because I definitely see here I'm 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 talking with a successful person and I see you very much hard working also I see you more grounded at this time you know what was this person and this person knows what is all about I definitely see here you following what is your intuition telling you will get you what you need in the long run but let's see here why this three of swords for today for many of you I will say put your intentions on this new moon which is on the 25th whatever you want to manifest because I definitely see here the money I start picking up for many of you Gemini's so keep the good work and also I will say don't focus just work work focus on you too because I don't feel you're very much into a love a specific love relationship here but I definitely see here it is somebody here very much thinking of you three of swords three of pentacles work situation something didn't work and I feel here you didn't like even at the moment that happened in the past another three even in the past were very much like you know I worked hard where is my fault I don't feel that is a big thing for you it's like a lesson learned a move forward and you know if you deal Gemini with somebody who've been committed with somebody else yes at the moment you've been very much hurt and you felt like yes they did played me yes they did put me there but you took your chances because you knew that even right at that point at that moment you've been confused and hurt you knew you have other better things to come towards you and you know your true worth you do yes you you thought this person is a true soulmate the communication was very strong for you yeah that person might told you that they getting divorced or things like that and that will give it to you what you need I don't feel that happened for some of you again we are going to the father figure because is a thing from childhood coming back which that person might be all about money money was everything money was making you stable 
money builds you money for for many of you money makes you a human which that is not right for you that thing was yes I can do because we do make money we can be stable but I want to be happy too because financially career wise I see you very stable for some of you your father was a business person and wanted you to be pretty the same you could be a lawyer or somebody working for a big corporation or things like that somebody is a judge here okay and I feel here yes because I see a very wealthy very well-being person here but I see you very much worked hard for that and now with this fork in the road you asking yourself why I'm doing this judgment you come to a realization that you always work you always do 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 and Yes, brought you to King of Pentacles. But is that your calling for this life or not? Let's see here. Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. Somebody want to show to that to somebody that they can be something better. Yes. Tower. And it's like, for your surprise, did happen. For some of you, for those of you who deal with somebody coupled with other people or had a wife or a husband, they knew that you will not stick with them. They knew they tried to keep you as much as possible, but they knew unless they are divorced or separated, you will not go with them. And you might hold them with the justice here, Libra energy. If you are not divorced, we cannot be together. When you are divorced, we can be, be together. Six of Cups and Justice. If you are getting the divorce, we can be together. We can come back. If not, we are broken up and we are good with that. Somebody put like a decision there, like a foot in, in, in there and just like, no, I'm not. And they try like... Maybe we can work out between. And now they think that you didn't play or you've been serious with the tower. They do realize that, that you didn't joke around. And you are not there just for sex. And they now see your maturity. They could take you differently when they met you. And, and they realize here that you are not playing with the star Gemini here with Aquarius energy they want you back could be sex involved here could be intimacy but they they very drawn towards you very very drawn towards you but I I see here they they think that your energies are intercharging is not like what they thought you are, they are way of thinking about you is way, way different now. Because if they taught you you are fine with that energy, now they see you this way. Star and Knight of Pentacles. That's how you are. Because they thought like, oh, they, they're not really thinking of sitting down or going to a stable relationship I feel here something whispered inside you to get what you want don't jump first think first be patient and tell that person what you truly want and go slow and you will see because when you go slow in anything the foundation is the biggest thing you can have ever if the foundation is good you'll get what you want. If the foundation is not good, you basically will crush at one point. And I feel here you you listen what that voice inside you told you. And I feel here just being this way, 
this person sees you like I'm not playing I don't need to play with my Gemini yeah all right loves let's see here one message whatever you are dealing what's coming new to you what is there for you and what you need to know for the future in any situation you are dealing just think of a message or a, a question Gemini let's see world something ends something is over for some of you closure comes for some of you you are ready for the next chapter into your life but I definitely see here looking back is not making you go forward and just closing you feel like that's the right way to do and also being honest to know the true desire inside you make peace with the past and self-care is very important with temperance Archangel Michael said energy again making peace and understanding what was the lesson and have a new beginning wow wow it's kind of what I'm feeling here clearing everything which was imbalanced ending what was not fulfilling you and go towards something way bigger for many of you just taking your time for some of you take a trip just for resting yourself and for some of you this fork in the road, whatever decision you need to make, it tells me here, taking some time for yourself will give you the right answer. And then will be this. Yep. All right. Gemini, I thank each of you who are here, who are coming here. Many blessings to all of you. And of course, loves, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.